Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie. I'm back with some more Star Wars! Yay! And I'm also doing double uploads of this for the time being. Why? Because... Um... How can I put this in the easiest way possible? Star Wars Disney uh, copyright strikes me for all the music. And not copyright strikes, they claim copyright. Meaning they get um, all 20 cents that I make from making this video. So in order for me to actually release these videos, I have to release them with another video. Um, and that money ends up, I use to improve my channel, so kind of important so in the search for Boba Fett part 2 a rival bounty hunter has before Boba Fett into hiding before he could do the job of the hut as Luke Skywalker's rogue mercenary Dash Rendar Imperial City not far from the Emperor's Palace uh, so yeah please leave a like comment subscribe do all that good stuff uh, I don't know who's subscribing me for me just for this but whatever you're meeting with Emperor when is planned Prince Sixor of course, Guri. I promised 300 ships for the construction project on Endor. He couldn't have found a more agreeable business partner. Also, if you're wondering, this takes place... Um, the Hoff is the one from Empire Strikes Back. You've informed Jabba's bounty hunter that the order to capture Skywalker life has now been changed? Yes and no. Yes and no one will know the new order to kill Skywalker came from you. Excellent. Vader will suffer the Emperor's wrath after he fails to turn Skywalker to the dark side. With them out of the way and the Emperor's need for Black Sun's near infinite resources, my grip on the galaxy will be supreme. Who is this guy? I have no idea. You were correct, Captain. IG-88 is down in the savage yard outside the city of Old Mantell. I told you, Princess Leia hired the right guy, Lebo. ig 88 ship was destroyed in a battle with Boba Fett. I bet he's looking for spare parts. And if I'm right, we'll lead him straight to Boba Fett. How am I going to find IG-88 in this pile of junk? Lebo, did you scope to find IG-88's exact location? Yes, sir, in a salvage planet at the end of the junkyard. A hover train runs through the junkyard and leads right to the loading doors. The door is closed, but if you reach the last hover train's engine, I can shut off the auto brake and we'll crash through the door. Alright. Alright, I'm going to pause now because I didn't realize how bad I cropped things out. All right, and now we return to the game. Be careful jumping when the train is turning. Oh my god. Oh man, return to camera control. You know, I've been playing some... I missed that challenge point. Warning, sharp turn, jump. I've been playing some Mario 64 due to the All-Star Collection. Ow. I have to be very careful with this, because if I fuck up... This, is, this level's actually... Um, a pain in the ass for a lot of reasons. One, I know you can't see it right now, but I am moving while this thing is moving. Oh man, and I'm not getting any of those challenge points because like that. Um, this level is through an entirely moving train. Oh god, how do I... Shit. I forgot how to duck. I remembered how to duck though. Okay. Uh... Shit! I'm too, I'm too close. There we go. There we go. Go here. Go here. Okay. Jump! Go here. Oh god. But yeah, Star Wars, you know, they're, they're coming after me. They Even though the music is being played for a Nintendo 64 and therefore does not sound the greatest, they still want the goddamn money. So there you go. Jesus. Yeah, so when it's sharp turns, you have to be careful when you jump. Because you can completely go ass backwards. Look at that swamp, by the way. Anyway, I've been playing a lot of Mario 64, and um, Mario 64 feels like... Um, well, first of all, Mario 64 does not feel bad to me. Um, it can feel rough, but if you want... If, you've, if you're someone who's playing Mario 64 for the first time and said, Man, these camera controls aren't good. You should play um, this video game. Because the camera controls for this game are not great. There's no Mario cam, so you can't see anything. Um, as I've documented in previous... I can't... Uh, yeah, okay, I was able to duck that. Sometimes I can't tell. The spatial awareness of my character is very hard to figure out. Alright, so I'm going for that challenge point! Oh, it's an extra life, not a challenge point. I'm a dumbass. Now I'm stuck over here. 
Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I did the good thing. I succeeded. Going here. So, yeah. Uh, if I remember right, this is actually a dueling banjo situation where I have to go from... Hop from train to train. Do I have any of my weapons on me? I don't. That sucks. I'm gonna need it, because at the end of this level you fight IG-88, and IG-88 is not easy to fight. Oh man, these fucking things. Okay, so I need to shoot them, because if I don't... This train will show up? Not this train, um... The gate won't close, and if the gate don't close, I take damage or die, I can't remember which one. So I have to keep on shooting. Alright, not bad. This is a good time to just get full health. Don't know why that was there. Keep shooting. Hope for the best. Thank god I don't have to actually aim any of my shots. Let's see. Just to show where I currently am. Okay. So there should be a guy here. There's not a guy in here. Should I go for it? I mean, it's just a challenge point. I don't really need it. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it, so I don't need to go in there. I'm not risking my life jumping for a random challenge point. If it was a weapon, I would. Is it a weapon on there? No weapon. I have a feeling I'm now screwed. Because I refuse to jump on that damn trolley. Whoa! What is that? Hello, friend. That's an extra life, so I'm gonna take that because this level remembers how many lives you had. That sounds not good. I forget, this is the part, there's a part where they get like separate, yeah, this is the part. Jump! I die if I stay over there, so that's why I had to jump. Jesus, this is the, this level, I swear, it looked much better on the N64 than it does emulated on uh, PC. I actually, no, do I have the PC version? There is a PC version of this game, but I don't like, um, along with Rogue Squadron, but they're shitty when it comes to actually trying to play them not full screen, so not the biggest fan of them, TBH. Shoot them. Rogue Squadron, that's a hell of a game. I would say Rogue Squadron probably is still very good, because there's not a lot of games um, like that anymore. Mario 64 is pretty good. I don't know if you know that. I'm kind of screwed if all I have is the laser gun. Jesus. Okay, this should be the part where I actually start getting some more stuff. Again, if I have to fight IG-88 without any weapons, it's actually going to be very tough. Okay, so we converge. We keep shooting him. If I wanted more challenge points, I could totally do that, but I don't want it. Okay, warning, sharp turn. I'm not gonna jump. Now I'm gonna jump. Perfect. 15 lives. Shooty, shoot, 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 shoot. Crap. I took a risk on that one, but I, I survived it somehow. Ah! What the hell even are you? Probably some Star Wars guy. Alright, and I think from this point on, we're pretty much safe. We get this challenge. I like to have a challenge sometimes. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright. Ah, uh, what the hell is that? There is definitely someone up there because I'm shooting someone. Okay, there's a sharp turn. Crap. Should have been. This is where I have to actually be careful. Because if I fuck up. I remember dying a lot on this part specifically. Oh, I almost died. I can feel that in my bones. I almost died. <laughs> Alright. I think we're safe from here. Still gonna jump it. Screw it. Extra life. 
I need that. Thank you. Yeah, they know that this level's rough, which is why they give you like 17,000 different extra lives. And I, I remember dying a whole bunch on it as a kid, just because these, these jumps are rough. I mean, I can understand why Disney wants to copyright my stuff, because this music is very good. Which is, I think, the advantage a lot of Star Wars games have, is that, um... <laughs> you just get to have Star Wars music playing in the background. Um, and Star Wars music is maybe some of the best ever orchestrated. Made in general. Wah! Again. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure this is the fault of, of running it through emulation and not the fault of the GameCube, of the GameCube, of the Nintendo 64. Yeah, there's a lot of rough stuff going on in this, uh... Ooh, I know this. I'm, I'm very close to the ID88 fight. Ah. Okay. Now I think I have to kill a guy who's up here. Careful, sharp turns. I like how I said, be careful when jumping on sharp turns. Jump to the next hover train. What hover train? Oh, it's right here. Kill this man. Okay. If I don't jump it, I think I just lose. Okay, so we take care of the auto brake. Prepare for impact. All right. And now we're at a boss fight. That is absolutely I'm unprepared for because I have no weapons. Great. Great. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the level itself I can find some weapons to fight AG-88 with. I think. What is going on there? Textures. I've been monitoring you, Captain Rendar. I've tracked Boba Fett to the Czar system, where you will soon lose Solo to me, and no one will stop me. Boop, boop, boop. If you remember, uh, if you watch Mandalorian, uh, IG-88, there's a robot in there that is the same model as IG-88. It's where he takes- I don't I'm pretty sure it's not the same character, but, uh, because they said- everyone thought it was because they're robots and they look exactly the same, but they're the same, same manufacturer. Something like that. Anyway, if you want to know more about what the hell is actually going on in Shadows of the Empire, because it's not actually doing a very good job of explaining who any of these people are, um, ah! You can... You can, uh, read the books, because it's based off an extended universe book. Alright, so IG-88 is over there. I'm gonna run over here and see if I can find a weapon. There's health. Health is good. I don't need health, though. I need a weapon better than my blaster. Challenge point? There's health. <gasps> there we go. Flamethrower. Hell yeah. Oh, I actually did have... Let me see if I just use a seeker and we'll find him. There we go. Really? Come on. Oh, of course. Flamethrower! Oh, I'm dying. I'm out of here. Okay. Shooty, shooty, shoot. Okay. Found some 20 health. Is that just yet? Yeah. Shit. Now, yeah, that specific thing he just used on me is why I don't like fighting IG-88. Go. Run. Oh god, I need to get to the other side and see if I can find some more health. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, he is. Man, I'm not hitting with any of my shots either. That's a big-ass bummer. Because I'm about to die. Once I die, that's a game over for me. Well, no, I, I can just uh, load a save. Ooh, seekers. Run, 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 run. He's right behind me, isn't he? Geek, 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 geek. 
Yeah, and I'm dead. Hmm. Let's try that again. This time with better results. As I find more weapons to shoot this guy with. Alright, let me go back to the spots. I can't remember if they respawn or not. Oh, of course. No, they don't. So that was my one and best shot at beating IG-88. That's bad. It's very bad. He's just, like, better than me. Because he doesn't have to play with a Nintendo 64 controller. Alright, let's see. I know he's somewhere. There he is. Come on, shoot him! Dash, he's literally right there. Okay, thank god. I can just kill him. I forgot that this is on easy mode. So... Don't you run away from me, you little bastard robot. Just think you just because you got mad hops, you think you can escape this? Nope. And down you go. Yeah. That's the end of that level, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.